Raghav. I'm a third year PhD student at the Maxwell School at Syracuse University. Uh, this is my poster. It presents data I collected about three years ago uh, on India's equivalent of the SNAP program. It's called the Public Distribution System, which provides in-kind food transfers to uh, about 800 million people in India. Oh, yes. So, I collected data in a state called Chhattisgarh, which had implemented two recent reforms. Uh, the first reform was the Chhattisgarh Food Security Act, which uh, simplified eligibility criteria so that people could be part of the program and identify the right people to so improve targeting. Uh, the second program was core PDS. So earlier they would use an, a paper-based system where people came and there were manual entries in a register and they got their grain. But then they moved on to a new program program which used um, these new machines uh, which are like debit card machines and they swipe a smart card and identify you so that reduces corruption. So the government was interested in uh, three things. They were interested in whether it improved targeting, they were interested in whether it improved the delivery of the program uh, of grains and they were interested in whether uh, the time taken to buy these grains was reduced. So the first finding was that if you look at the distribution of the different types of the rich, the middle income and the poorer households, you see that the program actually improved in its targeting because the richer households were now differentiated from the middle and lower income households. So that was a positive finding. However, the middle income and the poorest households were still similar. So the government needs to do more to separate those households. But the reason why you want to separate them is because different income groups get different uh, amounts of grains and at different prices and so you want the poorest to benefit from the lowest prices and the highest amount of grain provided by the system. Uh, coming to the new electronic program that they Im the machines that they implemented now these machines are supposed to reduce the time taken for people to buy their grain and they were also supposed to reduce corruption we found something very interesting. We found that the corruption in areas where the core PDS was implemented was actually higher. And the reason why it was higher was because this could have been because of teething troubles of a new program, uh, or it could have been because um, it was just taking a lot more time. So if you look at this graph, you see that the, blue, the green bar and the yellow bar show you how much time it took on an average for people to buy grain, and that's 90 minutes and 70 minutes in areas where these new machines were installed. But in areas where these machines were not installed and they were using the old system, it took 53 minutes. So what happened is when these machines came in, uh, they required you to do, they required phone net connectivity, they required internet connection, and so people had to verify their identification through these smart cards by swiping them through the machine. And that increased the time taken. And because the time taken increased, people also stopped getting their full share of the entitlement because they would go to the shop and have often turned away or they turned and come and so they were not able to buy their whole grain entitlement. Finally, the last question was, the government was interested in knowing what do people prefer in areas where these machines have come in? Do they like the old system? Do they like the new system? And what we found was that people who had these smart cards actually preferred the new system, but people who did not have the smart card and had the old system, old paper card, uh, they were more likely to like the old system and I think that's because they suffered because of the electronic verification and so uh, they would rather go back to the old system.